Welcome back, guys. It's been all crossover with your boy Marky Mark, and we're gonna go to NBA Finals talk. Let's go to about LeBron. I mean, to make it this far into the NBA Finals with a team that he has. I mean, we've all seen the ki- the players that he has to carry. <laughs> what does this say about his legacy? What does this say about uh, the type of player that he is? Oh, he's made Mount Rushmore. That's yeah. not even a debate. Mm-hmm. He will go down as a top four, top five player of all time. Am I ready to call him the GOAT? No. I think that title yeah. still belongs to Michael Jordan. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. For sure. I think the title still goes to Michael Jordan, even though I haven't, I'm still a young guy. I haven't watched Michael Jordan that much, but I know that he, Michael Jordan is the GOAT, and LeBron is one of the greatest players of all time right now. Um, he's just taking his team to another level. We haven't seen this capable player that can take this group of guys by himself, average this amount of points, and bring this team each and every year to four straight finals. Even that, five, five, six, with the Miami, Miami team as well with Dwayne Wade and uh, Chris Bosh. So, I mean, he's, he's one of the best players of all time right now. Let's talk more about that. Yeah. There are two types of opinions when it comes to LeBron's accomplishments in the East. Are you the type who will say he's made eight straight finals? Or are you the type to say he's three and five in the finals? Ooh. That's that's tough because at the at the end of the day, because once this all like you know ten ten to fifteen years from now, no one's gonna talk. I think no one's gonna talk about the the H three finals. I, I think they're gonna they're gonna talk about more of his record in the finals because that's when you compare the greats like Michael Jordan, uh, Larry Bird, um, you know Magic Johnson. They always talk about what they did in the finals. And it, it and it's tough and it's so sad to hear that LeBron is going to be criticized for for having such a, you know a questionable record in the finals as opposed to what he was able to do for the eight straight years making you know he's taken a lot of teams he's broken a lot of teams down Atlanta Hawks was such a great team he broke them down easily <laughs> they had to disband themselves so Chicago Bulls now is such a terrible team because yeah. of LeBron I mean like Indiana Pacers the Pacers was such a good team that he just Raptors is also uh, the team that he's just not giving a chance to taste uh, to have a taste in the finals so I, it's sad to say that I think he's going to be judged more of that of now, his record. other than the loss to the Mavericks back in 2011, yeah. will you blame LeBron for the other four? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't either. So if you're going to blame him that one year Kyrie went down, come on. If you're going to blame him for averaging a triple-double last year, come on. And that young guy who took that Cavs squad against the Spurs back in 2007, they weren't supposed to be there. They yeah. weren't. No. Is this the... With, is this a better team than what he had in 2007 when he carried them all the way to the finals? What, what's wrong with Zajuna Zilgowskis? Come on. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Everyone was saying like, that they were comparing these two teams. I'm like, they had an all... Like, Zajuna was almost an all-star. I mean, you can compare him with Kevin Love as well, right? But, the, uh, I mean, Larry Rouge was decent. Like, he was a decent player. Uh, they had some decent players that they had, and they played defense. How did they the beat the Pistons? That's, that's what everyone point, wanted to do. Which was a really good defensive team. Everyone was expecting Pistons Spurs round two. It's true. And Spurs had already won three championships at that point, heading sure. into that finals. And yeah. But uh, and then what I want to put to you guys is, is with the Warriors and the Cavs, is this the finals that we wanted to see? Is this the finals that we all expected to see? No. What it were wasn't. you guys expecting? Like, what were you guys wanted? Or what did you guys want to see? Everyone wanted something new. Everyone wanted to uh, see the Kyrie Irving go to the finals. Everyone wanted yeah. to see Houston Rockets finally make it to the finals, mm. right? But it, there was so much uncertainty for Cleveland heading into the season. No one is surprised Golden State made it to the finals. Let's be real, okay? Yeah. And no one will be surprised if they make it for more years to come. Yeah. The Cleveland went through so many ups and downs. They had Kyrie Irving demanding the trade. They had Isaiah Thomas not being able to get back to what he was back in Boston. And then you had... What, eight different players traded at the trade deadline? I, I can't even keep track. It was the most, yeah, roller coaster team. And they yeah. finished with the fourth seed. Mm-hmm. And who was the one player who took them to the finals? LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. The next leading scorer, Kevin Love, 13 points a game. Yeah. So. It's, it's true. Like, what about you? Is this the team that you were expecting to see in the finals? Definitely want, a new, definitely want a new change. But yeah. then again, we still have this great matchup of having one of the greatest teams assembled and against one of the greatest players of all time, carrying his old team all the way to the finals again. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I know a lot of people and a lot of media members in America, all around the world are saying, it's a boring matchup. This is four straight years of having the Warriors against LeBron James. I mean, technically this is 
uh, a matchup of just uh, a second year of having Kevin Durant on the Warriors against LeBron James and this brand new team. So if you want to look at that, but still, it, it's it's one of those. It's I, I personally wanted to see Houston Rockets into uh, on the finals. Uh, just see some change there and here and there, but I mean they missed like 27 shots, 27 three point shooters straight, and they're they're one game away from making the finals. And it was just one of those mental mistakes or just shooting mistakes that you know that could have led them to the finals as well. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was it was a toss up having uh, Boston as well. They could have gotten that far, but I mean LeBron was just in his way. So uh, we could have seen that match of Houston Rockets versus Boston as well, or even Houston versus LeBron. Yeah. Now, I would have been happy with this finals matchup if Kyrie was healthy and still yeah, in yeah. Cleveland, mm -hmm. but we're talking a completely different Cavs roster from last true. season. True. And, and the funny thing, I think there were just so many different variables that happened in the East. I mean, nobody expected, nobody predicted that. The, the, I thought Raptors was going to take it five games. I really thought they were really mentally, in that. mentally yeah. damaged. I, I, did, that I didn't expect. Uh, that LeBron had such, you know, uh, an effect or such an effect. And I mean, to the superstars of the Raptors, the Rosen and Lowry, I didn't know he was going to have that much impact on them mentally. And, and to, to watch them kind of crumble down, it was just like, how is this, you know, are we going to see a LeBron again in the finals? And <laughs> even, even when I was watching the series, uh, the, the Boston and Cleveland series, I thought when they played that first two games and uh, up 2-0, I thought they figured out a way to just win home games and just be all right. I, 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 saw, I thought it was going to be a game seven for sure, but I thought that they already figured out how to play at home, no matter how bad they play on the road. And that game seven, when they, they had every chance to really beat LeBron, they, they're, you know, them being so young, be, them having no experience in the playoff, LeBron kind of took advantage of it, and and I thought it was really going to be Boston. And I feel like if uh, Sixers won that series, uh, I think they would have had s such a nightmare. Like they were, they would have been such a nightmare for uh, the Cavs because they have such a, a rim protector in, in Joel Embiid that I think can can pre uh, stop LeBron and just stop prevent him from being such a, uh, getting everyone involved. The I front think. court would have outplayed them for I sure. Think, it wouldn't even so have too. been a matchup. Yeah, and they had better shooters, I, I feel like. I mean, Redick is there, uh, Ilya Sova, uh, Marco Bellinelli, Covington. They had enough shooters to space out uh, the, the Cavs that I don't think they can keep up defensively. Hey man, this yeah. conversation here and for the future, it just tells how much of a legacy LeBron has. Despite yeah. the three and five record in the finals, it just, Every team has to go east. Every Eastern team has to go through LeBron just to get to the finals. And the Raptors, exactly. I mean, they weren't able to do it. They mentally, they weren't there. Orlando, oh, no, sorry, not Orlando. Indiana and Boston had their chances of pushing into Game Seven, and they almost had the chance to beat LeBron. 